So he was real excited about it. And he said, um, Mom, I hear Nick coming home. So we're going to go get dinner before the movie. Um, so I'm going to let you go. And I said, well, okay. I said, um, I said, be careful. He said, oh, Mom, nothing's going to happen. And he said, I love you, Mom. And that was all. That would have been around 10 in the evening, Ohio time? Yes. I want to go now to the time when you first heard about the shooting at the theater. When was that? That was 4 o'clock. We were woken up about 4.20 in the morning by our uh, son, Stephen, now that would be 4:20 uh, Eastern time, is that right? Correct. So that's about 2:20 here. Okay. And he said, "There's a sheriff at the door." Now I want to ask you about this. Your son Stephen was he living with you? Oh yes. And uh, so w this wasn't a phone call. No. What happened then? Did you get up and talk to the sheriff? Yes. Um, my husband and I got up and answered the door and he said do you know um, Matt McQuinn and I said yes and he said there's been an incident with the kids you need to call Samantha's mom and so we did and she said Jerry she said the kids went to a movie and somebody came in and started firing shots. And um, Samantha is at the hospital. She was shot in the knee. She's waiting for surgery, but we don't know where Matt is. They said that they couldn't tell her, tell Samantha anything about Matt because of the HIPAA laws. Did, did you or your family at that point make any efforts to get additional information? Yes. Um, the sheriff stayed with us for about 45 minutes, and he was trying to call um, any law enforcement, his dispatch and uh, Springfield police. And we were trying to call Samantha and we just couldn't get any kind of news. When is the first time you got more news? It was probably um, about, we got out to Denver, probably about 1.30 Denver time. So you just hopped on a plane? Yes. Um, myself and Sam's mom, dad, and stepmom all ended up on the same plane. And we got, you know, to the rental car, and we were on our way. Um, I told them, let's go so you can be with Samantha. And they said, no, we're going to find Matt first. And my brother called while we were on the highway, um, and he said, Jerry, this doesn't look good. He said, I want a friend of mine to come be with you. And that was the first that I knew that there were 10 bodies still in the theater. And did, did you, your brother have a friend in Denver that helped you? Yes, she met me at Gateway. When did you get official confirmation then? It was about... 8.30 Colorado time, which would have been 10.30 Ohio time. And um, so then they, they wanted, um, Sam's family wanted us to um, contact them by text or phone when we found anything out. And I told them, no, we were going to go to the hospital and, and let them know in person. Did you do that? Yes, we did. I think we had some testimony from a, a witness during the first part of this trial about not having any fingerprints for your, your son because Ohio doesn't take a thumbprint 
when you get a driver's license there. Were you asked to actually go and identify your son at the coroner's office? Yes. We had to, um, we got a call that said that we needed to come down and identify him. Did you do that? I did. Tell us about that. Your Honor, I'd object 401, 403 due process. Overruled. I went in. The um, gentleman told me that Matt would be behind a glass window and that we would be in a little room. And so we went in and um, my brother's friend and Samantha's stepmom went with me. And I went in and he was there and it was my son. And um, I had asked if he suffered and they said that he was shot in the neck. And it was probably within seconds. Did you say anything to him? Your Honor, 401, 403, due process. Overruled. I told him that I loved him, that I was proud of him because he saved Samantha's life. 